Yeah. Uh, Brian Forrest, I heard you might have a package for me. <gasps> Is it a package from Robert? From Come to Us? I don't know what those mean. Oh, it's, it's, it's probably a gift because I've been doing such a great job. Okay. You know, with the Grindstone Workshop, you know, with all the builds and stuff. I really, I have to be able to see if people are at the window. Oh, yeah. This is usually a shorter exchange. Right. Please move. Okay, let's go. Let's go see what's in it. Another box. Huh. Oh, come on. This better be the last one. Ryan, it's great to finally see you face to face. Well, sort of. Mr. Bean, it is an honor to finally meet you. <laughs> Brian, please. Mr. Bean was my father. You may call me Sir Bean. Anyway, let's hop to it. This week, we'd like you to create a Water Knight cosplay. The Water Knight, who is awoken into Lapis, is oftentimes the first natural four star that new players acquire. Her usefulness extends far beyond the early game. She is honestly one of the most recognizable monsters in all of Summoner's War. So don't mess this up. No pressure, <laughs> sir. So for this challenge, it's gonna be all hands on deck. You probably need to assemble a team or something. Good luck. Oh, I love a good getting the team together montage. Hit it! First up, we got Lauren Matesic. She owns Castle Corsetry, a one-stop shop for custom cosplays, costumes, and corsets. And yes, she works out of a castle. Not a real one because this is Los Angeles, but like, you know, a really cool fake castle. Next, we got Mylin Sarley. She's an expert in all things armor, foam, and cosplay. Don't mess. And yes, that is her real hair. Speaking of hair, Water Knight has some unique locks. So I'm tagging in someone who knows wigs. How to cut them, how to style them, how to wear them. Enter Jessica Mills. Wigs, so many wigs, wigs everywhere. Oh, hey, I like that one. <gasps> Welcome to the Magic Knights. You're gonna add like effects? I am so excited to get started. Hold on. Ah, that's better. <laughs> all right, Lauren, what's the plan? So I'm gonna handle all of the soft goods parts, all of the fabric bits, the corset, the gloves, the thigh highs, the skirt. But I need help from these two beautiful ladies to help me with the wig and the armor. My Lynn here is gonna build all of our armor pieces and uh, I've got Jessica here that's gonna help me with the wig. She's got looks, what looks like a white corset that all of the armor is built on top of and then a multi-layered skirt that has a bunch of panels that kind of flow off of her hips. I will be building the armor parts, which is the shoulder piece, the armored garters, I guess we're calling them. <laughs> you need to protect that one part of the thigh. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't have a better name for it, but the crotch plate? <laughs> Centrally located tacit. Cod piece? Would it be called a cod piece for a lady? I don't it's think a, so. It's a loin. <laughs> loin plate. <laughs> loin plate. <laughs> I love her hair. I love the, uh, the very defined spikes that are coming up there. I think you might have a thing for blues, so <laughs> it might, might be okay. I think you do too. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a theme here. We all have colored hair, it's awesome. <laughs> yes, Brian, we all have colored hair. All right, let's bring in Laura Lunardi. She's going to be our amazing magic knight for Whoa. this project. Wait, wait I, I thought I was cosplaying it. Oh, no, no, Brian. We have lots of other important tasks for you to fulfill for us.
Where's the other one? All done. All right, let's see how you did. Yeah? How? Oh. How did you... Um... Turret. I can respect that. Guys, can I help again? No. I noticed that Magic Knight, just like Lapis, uses a sword. And I thought, well, since I already built one, we could just use this. Oh, no. That is no. not con safe. Is that real meta? Yes. Oh. So basically, we need to make a new one, is what you're saying. A con yeah. save. Now, what, what does con save mean? Most of the time at cons, you aren't allowed to have like a real metal sword. So one of the things that's nice about foam is you can keep your armor light. In yeah. foam, you can actually make it look more like the original artwork. Mm -hmm. You can create that bulk without having to worry about it weighing a million pounds. Well, that's a great idea. Oh! This is pretty simple. It's um, just a dowel rod. You can get these at Home Depot. This is very thick foam. You can kind of see from the side. <laughs> I brought... No? Are you gonna murder a pumpkin? I was gonna cut... Is this not good for foam cutting? I don't think so. You're gonna oh. get a really messy edge with that. I am just using an X-Acto knife. Cosplay tip. Don't try to cut all the way through on the first cut. It's not gonna work. So it's still in its rough form, but you can kind of see that we're starting to get the hilt shape. We're actually gonna carve this out a little bit. Time to carve? What is that? These are wood chisels it's and like a... a metal file. This is all we need. That's it? Then some sandpaper. It's a pretty expensive material to work out of. One sheet is around $100. Ah. The amount of thermoplastic that you use goes really fast, really quickly when you're building armor. So <laughs> measure a lot, cut once. I mean, or if you're rich, you know, live your life. <laughs> <laughs> One of the great things about working with thermoplastics is you can mold them very similar to clay. And so we'll take the heat gun and take our pattern and cut the shape out and then heat it with the heat gun and start to cover the sword. You want to move your heat gun around a lot. And so this is what I was talking about with the stretch. If you want to, you can actually pull your warbler oh, around. Okay. Look guys, my sword is coming together. This is amazing. Thank you. And I'm still confused how this works. <laughs> so we've seen how you can form, uh, kind of curve the, the warble and stuff. How do you actually get the foam to curve? Take the foam and you can heat it up and put it over a form like your leg has a similar to curve to this. Mm -hmm. I create seams um, to force the foam to want to stay in a curve. That's one seam. It's just the one, yeah. But I guess, yeah, it can get infinitely more complex, can it? It can get infinitely more complex when you have something like a corset. Ah! <laughs> Foam's always going to fight against itself, and it's always going to fight to come out of that curve. Why doesn't this fit me? Because you don't have boobs? Probably. Oh my god, you guys, this has been a crazy week, and you have all put in so much work, and I am so excited for today, and this looks amazing! Everything had to be sealed, and then painted, and then Shadow and Highway. There's dry and cure times between certain things. Lauren, last time I was here, and I was very helpful. So helpful. How did you make all these soft goods come together into this cohesive costume? Like a magical puzzle piece. I knew so it. So when when we're doing a custom uh, costume designs, typically we map out the whole design on a flat pattern and then uh, cut it apart and add your seam allowance. So that's what happened with all these like little pieces here with all the, the see-through uh, chiffon layers. The corset base, which is really just um, there to hold all of the armor together. And Jessica, that wig is amazing. It's gonna look perfect. How? A lot of hairspray. <laughs> Maybe a can or two, I'm not sure. Oh a lot my goodness. of teasing, some steam, more hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to suit up. Not today, Brian. Brian, what? Brian. You, no. This side? 
this just side. all the way, uh, all the way more? that way. More? Just keep going. Yeah, can, keep can, going. Can you still see me? Yes, absolutely. Okay, okay. Robert loves it. So we'll see you at San Diego Comic-Con 2018. Brian? If you like this cosplay, you can see it live and in person at San Diego Comic-Con 2018. Hey there, thanks for watching this week's episode of Grindstone Workshop. Be sure to check back every week for a brand new episode. And be sure to like Skybound Games on Facebook and follow our good friends over at Com to us. Until then... Brian, what uh, are you doing here? We were just finishing up Go-Go. <laughs>